We're letting you on in a big secret today. Today is Friday, it's traditionally Mussel Day at Seafood Safari, and we're making our famous mussel soup. It's local black mussels that we're using. They're cultivated in Saldana, and they are on Sassy's green list, so a wonderfully environmentally conscious dish as well. I've got two people to help me here today. I've got Jennifer Molchroff and Sherilyn Damons. They're gonna they're just gonna keep me informed of how we actually make the mussel soup because these are actually the ladies who put the recipe together every single week on a Friday. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. I'll ask Jennifer, what ingredients have we got here today? We've got the butter, a little bit of butter here, some onion, a little bit of garlic, there we go. celery, we've got the pig flour, corn flour, oregano, a little bit of black pepper, and then we've got the milk there, and the mussel liquor mixed with a little bit of fish stock, and we've got a little bit of white wine here, and then the bay leaves. Okay, so how do we start? What do we do first? Sherilyn, what's going into the pot first? First we put in the butter, the onions and the garlic. garlic. So we just really want to soften all these ingredients in the batter. I'm not really aiming to brown any of these. Just soften them for the soup. again the, um, the onions and the garlic and the celery are all nicely browned and what we're going to be adding in now is the, the flour and the corn flour. Just slowly going to stir that in. Now we've got the corn flour and the flour all nicely amalgamated with the batter. We're going to add a little bit of milk to that and stir it in just to make sure that we don't get any clumps, we're adding it quite slowly. Caroline is the expert at stirring these things in. That's why she can't have off on Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're back again. What we also need to add now is the fish stock, which is mixed with the mussel liquor. The mussel liquor is effectively the water that's left over after steaming the mussels. Always keep that. It's a, sort of the base of your mussel soup and where most of your mussel flavor comes from. And then a little bit of good dry white wine as well goes into the soup. So in we go. And we're just going to let this simmer a little bit, but we're going to add a couple of uh, uh, herbs uh, in there as well. So in go a couple of bay leaves. We've got some oregano, which goes in there as well. So I can manage to keep it all into the pan. And then some crushed black pepper. You'll notice we don't put any salt in. We may do at the end, but the mussels themselves are quite salty, so the mussel liquor is quite salty as well, and that's why we don't add any salt at this stage. So we're going to pop the lid on that and just let that cook down a little bit and simmer, and then we add in the mussels and we're almost done with our mussel soup. Okay, Jennifer, Hello. if you could just show the camera over there. We've got some mussel meat which we're going to add in now. We've just taken the meat out of the shells, and then these over here, are the half shell mussels. Those are purely for presentation purposes. So that's going to go in right at the end. So our soup is all ready now. We're going to add in the mussels. Got a good stir around and in go the half shell mussels. As I mentioned earlier, these are all locally cultivated in Saldana and cultivating mussels is a very environmentally friendly practice as well. They actually clean the water that they're in, quite similar to oysters. So they have a minimal impact on the environment where they're farmed. And for those of you that did notice, our seafood safari segment we did with Nolene at the soup kitchen up in Hornley. Throughout that episode apparently I used the word super quite a lot whilst we were filming at a soup kitchen. So for those of you who noticed it today, I haven't used super once but I just can't stay away. So we've got a super mussel soup today as well. <laughs> so we're ready to serve up our delicious mussel soup. Let's have a little peek inside to see if everything is okay. Looks delicious. Looks delicious. I'm going to ask Charlene to get us a nice bowl of soup ready there. Always make sure just to get a couple of the mussels on as well. And we're serving that today with a lovely baguette from Jean's Bakery next door.
touch of fresh parsley on top. On a cold winter's day, what could be better than that? Boy, I think everyone's going to be coming around for a bowl of mussel soup. Thank you. <laughs> Let me try this. Better be good, Jennifer. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic, that's me. It's super. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you ladies, really. Outstanding soup. Outstanding. Excuse me, I'm going to the staff room to finish this. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>